All right, everybody. Brody here uh, from the Hellbox Bros. Back with my Resident Evil, uh, uh, Resident Evil One or Resident Evil HD Remaster uh, playthrough. My 100% item run playthrough. This is gonna be the second part, and in the first part, pretty much just did the intro and just picked up pretty much anything that I could because um, I'm picking up everything because uh, yeah, I'm trying to get that. Um, I'm trying to get that trophy as well as just do uh, like a full playthrough because you do get certain you get uh, trophies for certain endings and stuff too. And man, I'm really sketched out about that guy. <laughs> In the last episode, I killed him, but I've entered the room the room quite a bit of times. Um, crap. Crap. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't played this game in, like, a really long time. Oh, okay. So, I'm, like, trying to remember stuff, but I figure that if I kind of just struggle through it on my normal playthrough with Jill... Man, that herb is, like, huge. <laughs> okay, see, now I feel dumb for, uh, not, uh, putting, uh, putting that in there. Ah, oh, and I don't have the lighter. Dang it. So... Oh, really? So, it says that I've gotten all the items. Okay, yeah, that, um... An unlit fireplace. Well, I, I need the lighter for this area. Um, but it did say I picked up all the items, which is weird, because you do have to pick up all the notes and scraps and just all that stuff, too. So, couldn't go in this room, so hopefully we can just ignore his silly stealth. So, I'm just gonna have to get past this guy here. Guess I could take a shot. What the heck? Eh, shoot. Well, wasted some ammo there. I was hoping I could maybe get a headshot so I don't have to deal with his crimsonness later. Uh, but wooden mount, okay. And like I said, it's really crucial to like get <laughs> get the doors right because oh, come on. Yeah, man, yeah, I do, I do not like how the controls work for this too well. Okay, well, I'm just going to get out of here because there's obviously zombies chasing me, and I don't think I can actually do anything right there. Um, okay, let me just check, see what this item is. I'm actually not positive. I'm probably going to be doing this a lot because I just do not remember stuff. Okay, there's paper attached on the inside. Nothing is written on it. Okay. Yeah. I'm... I'm at a loss right there. But I still got one slot, and, um... Okay. So I still got one slot, and I'm fairly certain that this key only has, like, one more use, and then I can discard it. And I can always just combine, um the other items together, and I think I'm actually hurt anyway, if I'm not mistaken. I probably could just use one. Okay, so there we go. I use the mansion key and shoot. That means there's another, <laughs> there's another door that I need, which is crappy. Okay. Okay, so I use the lockpick on that door. Yeah, I'm going really slow here. Oh, okay, so that's where he is. Unless there's one over here. And I don't remember if they can grab you on the stairs or not. No, they can't. Okay, so yeah, you just kind of ignore them, basically. No, go through the door. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Back in this room here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's a... St okay, that's weird. Let's see. No, it's... It says that this is uh, clear, actually. 
but whatever. Since I don't know where the wood mount goes, I'm gonna put it away. Um, but I will pull out the plant food. And until I find the lighter, I don't know what I'm doing with this anyway. And since now I'm about to unlock all the doors, I don't need that there either. But I will take my ink ribbon out and save it. Yeah, there is going to be a lot of... Man, come on, game. Um, but yeah, there is going to be a lot of me saving just because... No reason not to, especially if I haven't really gotten touched or I haven't really wasted anything. Yeah, I wasted a self-defense item, but who cares? <laughs> it's better. It's it is better to run past the zombies unless uh, unless you have a way to blow their heads off. It's just kind of you just kind of ignore. Now I understand that there's that room back there upstairs, which could. This key could be a part of that, but but I just don't know. I'm just going to ignore it for now. Anything over here? And I'm almost certain that I can't get in this door. Okay, or not. But I do need to go outside and unlock that door from the other side. battery pack. I think the battery pack... Let's just look at it, I guess. I think it does a little more damage, and maybe their heads explode? I don't know. I don't care, as long as I got something. But the crucial thing is getting that shotgun. Um, okay. So there's three items in here, so just be aware of that. Oh, wrong, wrong button. So let's see. Yep, this room is cleared. So I could go back to the box and just drop that stuff off, but... Because really, I should be trying to get... Okay, well, alright then. Looks like I am going back this way that I came, no matter what. Yeah, and it's absolutely critical for me to keep the shot, the broken shotgun, because I want to go get the shotgun. So, okay. Whoops. Sorry for that cut there. Just had a bunch of stuff. So the only thing I did was just put away the ink ribbon. But I am now going to, I am going to go try to get the shotgun right now and uh, try to open a couple more doors because I know that sword key. I know I'm, I'm almost done with it. I, I know it has, like, one more use, and I just, like, I'm desperate to get rid of it. Ah, shoot. Thought he was going to try to run up the stairs a little bit more, because I can't do anything in this area right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to run past this guy up here. I don't know. I might as well try, right? Nah. <laughs> well... Just hit them with that. See, I unlocked it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I am gonna kill just this guy. I think he's gone. Make sure he dies. Okay, so I unlocked that, which is good. Ignore this guy. This guy, crap. Alright, right. He passes that corner there. Okay, and then... It's locked from the other side. And then this just leads out. Oh, shoot, I forgot to go... Oh, I forgot to go outside. <laughs> that was the whole reason. But that's okay. Because the door's right there anyway. Um, but yeah, so I still got a defensive item. I mean, that's all that really... You just need one. And I and it's and I'm being really stupid because I keep backtracking and going in and out of rooms and I, that isn't what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so yeah, but but no big deal. I think I think these are just like one-time uses. Yeah. 
So since I'm hurt, so this is a vi this is a very big area to remember out here, okay? Because it's the one-time use herbs. So, right? You know, you just come here whenever you're struggling, so you can conserve healing uh, items. Which there's a few areas where there are a lot of healing items. Um, and unfortunately, uh, you do have to, I know you have to come out here later to get a key, but I, I didn't know if there were any items out here anyway, but I'm just gonna, now I'm starting to unlock doors and starting to get the mansion. So at least if you're using this as a guide or a walkthrough or whatever, at least you know how to unlock this door now. So, uh, and right there, that means nothing. That door, I can't do anything there. Um, and I can't really do anything over there either. Um, so I am just going to run this way to the broken shotgun room. Well, actually, since I have enough ammo right now, I'm actually going to go over here and check. I know there was this zombie down here, which is a bummer, but... But I am going to get the shotgun very soon here, so I'm not too worried about anything right at the moment. I have a feeling that I've squandered a couple opportunities. Let me see, was it this? No. Okay, so it's just locked from the other side. So. And actually, you know what? If he's alive, I'd rather him grab me shoot oh, he took a lot of bullets see I, I know this sounds weird but yeah if you if you let him if, if he's on the ground and he's like still alive armor jeez yeah if he's still alive you'll stomp his head and then he won't become a crimson zombie like right now I am just doing terrible at that with the crimson zombie stuff there's gonna be a ton of them I use the mansion key. There's no... Okay, so it's down here. So... Yep. So there you go. There are the... F wait, so there was... I think there was... Man, I just... I can't remember. But within these first two videos... You got the gist of... What, um... Okay, yeah. I don't think you can go down there until way later. So pick up another defensive item. So I have four bullets. I can't stop anybody or anything right this second, but I don't I just don't think there's much going on around here. Yeah, okay. So I mean just just to take a look. Well it says I have all the items in here, but obviously. I know something happens. I know something happens in this area, I think. Yeah, ah, shoot. <laughs> I don't have enough ammo. Uh, I might have enough ammo to take this guy out, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. <gasps> She's all, you're always falling down. Not very good at avoiding zombies. So yeah, this zombie is actually... I think he's actually a little stronger than uh, other zombies, but... You know, obviously, I'm just going to completely ignore him because I don't know. I, I didn't know where, um... I, I don't know where all the items are, you know? I, I'm just not sure, um, unfortunately. Okay, so none of these doors mean anything. So you're dead. That door is locked. That other door is locked from the other side. Uh, the two doors upstairs until I get the lighter and or some other item, then it's pretty pointless. But, regardless of all that, we do have the broken shotgun. And I don't think you need... I don't think... I don't think you need any other items to get into the shotgun room. Now, I could be wrong, but... I just want to check something. Okay, so the hallway, I've picked up all the items. So I'm fairly certain there's a dog in here, and I'm not about to... I'm not about to, uh... battle against this dog with only four bullets. I'm just gonna run past him. If there is 
one in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Don't be doing any of that. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I know two dogs break through in the original. But I've gotten both of those items. Oh, and also, I think if you don't go in that room, then that door will, like, will like shake to that bathroom right there where I unplugged the drain and then she stomped his head in. I think it'll, like, shake or something. And, uh, you know, I think he can bust through it eventually. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but he's dead. And... Um, yeah, so let's pick this up first. Yeah, I mean, so let's grab the shotgun. Okay, and that's it for this room, right? Nope. I, said, I just saw that on the table right at the last second. So let's look. Yeah, see... So yeah, once you've used the item, like you don't have to come back here and pick up the broken shotgun, obviously, because if you do that, you would die. Now, I'm trying to save Barry and get the best ending possible. So I just remember if you there is a way that like if Barry comes and saves you now, then like later he might not save you or do something. So I just remember like the the less you like have Barry out and like doing stuff, the better. So, um, right. Okay, so, um, what do I, what am I doing here? I totally forgot. I think there's some rooms. Yeah, no, I can't, I couldn't go through there. That was locked. That's locked. There was nothing out in that room. Um, wow, I actually kind of forgot. Well, I know there's a couple things that I need to pick up. Um, oh, wait, I do need to go outside. And this door is locked, right? Armor? Right, right. Okay. You know, speaking of that, I got six bullets for this. I am going to equip that because sh blowing the zombies' heads off is awesome. And this actually, the Crimson Zombie might act, this guy might actually wake up right here, which would be terrible. That's weird. I swear that, I swear you, you can only walk into a room like three times or something, but maybe it's until you've activated the first Crimson Zombie. Which, you know, whatever. I'm just looking at my items because I'm just kind of confused on on um, what I'm supposed to do. But I've been avoiding zombies, and I think there's a room upstairs that I missed. So I'll save it right here. And the cut and it is color coordinated. I don't remember if I mentioned that, but um, yeah, white means it's normal. So in case you didn't know. And then I think, like, blue and purple or something are easy, and then obviously red is, like, hard or whatever, or just a harder mode. So, okay, so we did that. Done with that. So put this back. Um, and, I mean, I know, where, I know where to use this, but... See, if I were to pick up shotgun shells and then that, yeah, I would not have a lot of items. A lot of space, that, that is. And if I pick up a red, I, you always want to mix it. So I'll just keep the items that I have. So yeah, as long as you have two fully loaded guns, then usually you're good to go. Whew, okay. <laughs> Once again, it's still just like... And then let me see here. Yeah, that door's still locked. I can't do anything right there. I'm just going to ignore you. There's no knob on the door and you can't go through. Okay. Um, I think it was over here to the right, yeah, so I'm just gonna just get rid of you. See, so that's exactly what you want to do. So yeah, this is the room I, I ignored. But if you can blow their heads off, then you're just fine. And, uh, yeah, 
Hopefully you can't hear that. Somebody's like mowing their lawn, like, or something outside. It's, it's actually really noisy. Um, yeah, hopefully I can just talk over it or uh, it just won't be. There we go. This is what I, okay, there we go. This is what you need. A crumpled memo. So, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, turn off the mic for a second here because, yeah, they're using like leaf blowers and weed whackers. So, I'll just go through uh, this little thing here so it won't get too noisy. Okay, back again with the recording, and they're, they're still pretty close, but uh, they're farther away now. So see, this room, it's still blinking, so it's in progress. So that means there's still an item in here that I haven't picked up. And it's, oh, it's right there. Whoa. Okay. Didn't need to go that fast. But this just um, explains that blue cures poison, and red and green are good as well. So let's see. What do we got? That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. So now the room is fine. So, uh, at this point, this room leads out to the other side, but you can't go in. But, I, you know, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Just, just you know, look at this right here. You know, like the door's right there, but you can't go in it. I don't know. So now that I have the lighter, though, um, I am going to burn these two bodies. And I am going to pick up the kerosene. So... So, uh, you know, you can see that. And I think uh, I think there's a trophy involved with it. Um, but I'm just going to get rid of the health for now because um, I'm just going to use the health from... from I'm just going to use the health from the area that I'm about to go to that has the reusable green herbs. So, yeah. Okay, wow, and he didn't wake up. Good. So, this is kind of annoying. Oh, it just does it automatically. Oh, okay. Yep, so there we go. Not taking any chances. So that means you burned your first body. So, uh, I'm going to also do it with this one right here. And then, ah, darn it. I was going to try to run back down there to get the canteen. Um, to fill, refill the canteen. I'm sorry, refill the canteen. But I think okay. Yeah, I'm being like really careful. But I do need some of this ammo. Um, I guess I'm not. You want to wait for him to, like, lunge at you a little bit, too. Crap. Shoot. Well, that didn't work. Let's see if he gets back up. Because I definitely want, you know, want him dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. And, I th and I'm fairly certain there's another one in here, too. This is the armor key, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, okay. So we're about to get the armor key. Um, it just would have been would be nice if I could remember where some kerosene was, but oh, okay, outside. Okay, so in this area right here, um, since I have, I do have four bullets for the pistol that I would like to use, but I. Uh... Yeah, basically right when you get out here, you just use the dog whistle, and then take a guess. Oh, what the heck? It's 
still auto aiming. I think that does it. But just to be safe, I just want my. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe that dog was able to lunge at me. That was pretty good. But if they lunge at you like that, then it will use a defensive item. But let's look here. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. And then you get the key, and it's the armor key. It says a coin was hidden in the collar, but you need to look right there at the armor, and then it'll go. So there we go. Okay. So now that that is done, I'm not sure if it tells you... Nah, see, it doesn't tell you which key goes where, but... Or, I mean, what door or whatnot, you know, has relevance, but... Um, well, I was going to go that way, but I don't need to, actually. Um, I'm going to start just unlocking doors left and right, um, and... Uh, Oh, okay, it discards when you leave the room. Okay, well then, that's what I was going to go do. I was going to go downstairs and, uh... Go to the room to... So, I did kill this zombie over here, right? Is he still alive? No, okay. Okay, so that's a helmet. Um, that door I can just unlock. Oh, come on. Oh, that kind of sucked. Yeah, yeah. acid doesn't take too much out of you. But uh, I am going back in here to get the kerosene to burn these two bodies and then do the one upstairs as well. Or, oh, no. Is there no kerosene in here? No way. Really? Oh, there was kerosene in the room with the shotgun. I'm sorry. Okay, I thought that uh, every save room had kerosene in it, but I would be mistaken. So. I remember, I, I think if you play on an easier difficulty, the kerosene amount is more. Uh, if you get what I'm saying. Like, you can Like, instead of only two uses, you have, like, three or four or something, something of the sort. I do not know if... Like, seriously? Man, that was the most, like, hardcore zombie ever, but I don't care because I wanted the space... Is he not, not dead yet? I don't swear. I wasn't dead. <laughs> well, so what? He's still on the ground. Like, okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I don't know about this zombie right here. Okay, no, you gotta do it. Cause this guy will just get up all on his own. So, and the fire will hurt you. So just throwing that out there. Yeah, sorry, this is going to be a zombie burning episode. Because. <laughs> because once you fight a crimson zombie, um, you will never want to fight one again. And you are forced to fight one, which is why I'm trying to mildly conserve. Um. Some of my shotgun shells, because I don't know the next. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I shouldn't be worried about that. What do you mean? It's not necessary to use it right now. Oh, okay. I don't know what the heck that thing was talking about. Not necessary. That's, it's not necessary for you to say that, game. 
And like, and you know, like a room like this, maybe you shouldn't worry about the Crimson Zombie too much, you know, because it's a pretty big room, okay? You know, you, you probably could just ignore him, honestly. But, um, you know, I mean, you never want to play with uh, fire like that. So, but let's, let's get back to the story here. Um, let me see. 11 bullets. Okay. No, that's pretty good, actually. I'm content with that. 11 bullets and two shotgun shells. It's a little low because I am, I'm not the type of guy, I like sometimes I do it, like I just keep avoiding like the zombies all the time. It just gets kind of annoying and I'm not doing like a speed run. I don't even care if I get it under five hours because eventually I'm going to do the three, uh, there's, a, there's a trophy to get under five hours as well. And there's a trophy to get under three hours, so I don't really care. This is the run where I'm getting all the good stuff. Uh, but I know I'm going to need that. And I don't know if I need that wooden mount or not, but... I'm going to go with no, but I am going to save it again, just because... Once you start burning the zombies, like, it's it's good. <laughs> it's really good to uh, do that. And and saving, there's, there's a mode where you have to play... Um, there's a trophy uh, where you have to play the game without saving it once. That's fine. Just do it on easy mode, you know, or very, why, you know, do it on very easy mode and then be Chris, you know, if you're afraid that you're going to die. Because <laughs> even though I don't, I don't actually ever like using Chris just because he doesn't have the slots and it just takes a little, like, I understand that if you were to walk like the quickest walkthrough, you know, people sacrifice, like, space for guns and ammo and weapons and uh, health and certain things to where they just have, like, a key, you know, and whatever. Oh, this is an armor lock? Shoot. I thought it was... I thought it was the, uh... Or, I thought it was the... I thought it was the key that I had. Sorry. I didn't mess that statement up. But, you know, so... Oh, wow. I already used all the kerosene in there. Okay. So... Uh, coming to this room is now completely pointless. The only reason you need to go in there, besides the kerosene, though, is that is the broken shotgun. Which you know, when you're Chris, you uh, let me see, yeah, when you're Chris, uh, you have to. Yeah, you you have to as Chris. You have to get the broken shotgun, or else you'll just die. Because Barry can save you. I maybe should have shown that, but like I said, if you if you use Barry for certain things, you know I don't I don't want I don't want Barry to die uh, in this playthrough. Oh right, that door. Where does this door lead? I completely forgot. To the out to the hallway. All right. Okay, that's all right. I do need to go this way anyway. Obviously, you don't want to shoot your gun in any room that has, like, crows. And see, look at that. I haven't been uh, looking at my map, or else I would have seen that. And I wouldn't have gotten bit earlier and taken a lot of damage. I probably would have shot some more zombies, honestly. So that was me being dumb. But I'm trying to get the uh, game going here a little bit. Should be this door right here. It's locked from the other side. Oh, crud. Emblem of armor is carved into the lock. What? Okay. Oh, man, I'm so dumb. I know exactly what I have to do. I don't... I d just don't remember that, um... I just forgot that little fact. So, well, either way, I forgot... I forgot that you have to actually go in... I was, I was actually going the right way. I was in the right room. It was that room right up there, up the stairs, and I just... Yeah, you have to put the fake key... 
in where like the drilling like trap is, which is on, which I'm going there right now. <laughs> which luckily, I, I mean, I would have cut, but it's just it's just right here. Crap, that's bad. So I let one. Man, that sucks. Obviously, you can tell they're pretty quick, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, here we go. So you take this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. And then this cutscene happens. It blocks you off right there. And then, you know, that's right there. Imitation of a key. Just use it. And just the same thing as the broken shotgun. Exact same thing. So that's it. So now I have the real key. And, uh... Uh, man, I don't know if two shotgun bullets can like take this guy out, but um, cause you can get man, they they can they can come at you pretty fast, and like it's and it's like hard to get away from them, very difficult. So I don't know where he is in the room though. Is he right in front of me? No. Okay. Um, let me see here. Unfortunately, I do have to go that way, but I don't feel like I don't really feel like dealing with that crimson zombie. Um, not right now. If I had if I had some health on me, then I would not mind, but I don't have any health on me, so because I'm just oh, come on game yeah you just gotta <laughs> it's so weird yeah, it, like I said the best comparison I can come up with is Devil May Cry because there's a bunch of huge hallways where you're pressing forward to run down it and then literally the camera shifts to instead of like behind the shoulder it's like right in front of you okay that's still locked from the other side but this though Use the mansion key. So, uh, okay, and unfortunately, I'm stupid and I don't have the right items to get in here. But. So, um. Obviously, you see this bookcase right here. You can push it. Okay. And then you get the musical score. Just go to the typewriter. Expensive looking grand piano. Um, okay, so I totally forgot. I think I need that, um, the one item that I picked up earlier. Um, I think you need the uh, that, that blank book that I had to combine with that. I just am not sure, because it's just been a really long time since I played this. Um, shoot, that guy's gonna get up soon. Um, but my inventory is maxed out, so I need to get back to the box. But, but on the way, uh, I think there is one or two doors that I can get, that I can use the key on, I obviously can't do anything with it, but, like, for instance, like, right here, I think this was the helmet key, but, okay, but not upstairs, not this one up here. So now the game is starting to open up a little bit, and uh, we're actually about to get some pretty good items. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to go in, in the door. Since I can't pick up any items, there's no reason for me to be in here. But I'm just trying to show where you can use the key and not clutter up your, invent you know, your inventory space like me, because... I just, it's just been a long time and I keep forgetting about where things are. 
So let me just show off um, right here as well. I think right here as well. And we're gonna go down to the box and then uh, use the canteen. But I'm gonna call, I'm definitely gonna call this, uh, well actually, since I'm not afraid of this zombie over here and I don't care about my space right this second, I'm actually just gonna take this guy out. And that's really unfortunate that there is a crimson zombie now in this room. Looks like I'm just gonna have to wait for him. There's all, yeah, obviously right there. Oh wait, no, I burned him. I burned this guy down here, didn't I? Yeah, I did, okay. Okay, so here's this. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Barry. And that does happen. And I'm glad this actually happened right before I ended this video because that also counts. You do have to pick these items up and put them in your inventory. So, yeah. About half the kerosene still remains. Refill it. Yes. Okay. So, um, there should be like three or four items or whatnot, but... Um, Right now, I don't need that. Um, I'm gonna use that really quick. See if that. Let's put that and that in there. And uh, this. So let's see. So I think he leaves flame rounds. And then a first aid spray. And that, I think, is it, actually. But let me, uh, I'm just gonna try to combine these here. No, you can't combine them, okay. So, yeah, so that's it for that, those areas right there. Uh, since obviously I don't have any. Whoops. I don't need any of that stuff. I do need the shotgun desperately. I'll take the handgun ammo. And then the sink ribbon, and then we're gonna move on. Um, actually, no. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna call it a video right here. So, so that's gonna be it for that. Um, just remember that, yeah, you do have to get all that stuff activated, and you do have to pick up all those items and at least put them in, put them in your thing for them to count. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.